Hi guys, so today we will start with a new question, question number 26 from group D, which is in any programming language, mostly syntax error occurs due to n balancing d eliminator, such as the brackets. So closing parentheses or closing curly brackets or square brackets. Write a C program using stack to check whether the given expression is well parenthesized or not. Basically, we have to check whether the correct parenthesis are given or not or is there some issue with that so let's just copy this question move on to our text editor and think about this so let's just paste it here let's just save this and comment this out that one i is left so let's just think about this a bit so how we can check so whenever we have some questions let's just uh, we should just take some examples and check over that so that we can see whether that works perfectly or not so means we can get some ideas so let's just take balanced and let's just take unbalanced okay so here what i can see is uh, i get an opening then i get an opening then i get a closing so i get a closing for innermost value so I get a closing for innermost bracket, not the external. Then I get the next uh, next. Uh, so here, if I say this is the last element, this is the last bracket. So I'm getting for the it. Uh, I'm getting the closing for it at the first. Then the last second. So last second. Then I'm getting for the last second. Then similarly last third and so on. So basically, what I can say is, first of all, whenever we will be working. So first of all, I will get a bracket for the innermost opening bracket. Then I will get for the uh, external, 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 external. Similarly, here I can see I get a bracket opening bracket. Okay, so I will get this somewhere at the last. Okay, let's just check. Then I again get an opening bracket. Yeah. Then I uh, then I check I got a closing bracket. So this would be for the uh, latest opening bracket which i got so i can say these two are complete but then i have to check for the remaining value so do we have something for the circular bracket no then this is unbalanced similarly here i first saw for the curly bracket uh, means uh, i go on checking uh, whether i'm getting this thing or not opening brackets so i got a curly bracket then a circular bracket then I got a closing bracket for circular. Yeah, now this thing is complete. So we don't need uh, this anymore. Then we have to check for the other two. Yeah, I got a closing for that too. And this is also complete. So I can remove this or I can discard this. And if nothing is left, I can say, yeah, it is balanced. So I got a basic idea that uh, I will get the closing brackets and opening brackets and I have to do something. So here they have said that you have to use a stack itself. So if they have not set a stack, then how should we think? So basically, if this was the case, which we just saw, what I said is innermost value or the last most value opening value gets its closing bracket at first. So whichever element is uh, used last is accessed last. So accessed at the last. We will get some value. It has, uh, we will get value. At first, we'll get closing value, closing value at first. So uh, something last, but we will get, uh, we have to access it at first. So we will put this, uh, we will store this somewhere. So basically we have to check for everything. So we have to store this somewhere. So whenever we put the last most element, it should be firstly checked. So something last in, first out so leafo which data structure supports this i know stack support this leafo which is last in first out so yeah now i know stack will be used but how will it use so let's just see so here now let's just take the same example or something different so here what will i do is i have to use a stack so what i can do is i can create a stack and i have to store basically i have to store the uh, brackets because i have to check whether they are complete or not so i can store this thing yeah 
then I can store this thing. Yes. So whichever element I have stored last, I have to access it first and check. So here we can see whenever we get a closing bracket, what we have to do is we have to check whether the topmost element of the stack is of same same type or not. So if I have a closing bracket for curly bracket, then I should get the top element as the curly bracket. Why? Because if I get like this, then what may happen? These two are balanced. So I can say this is balanced. So what we are basically trying to do is if we have a lot of uh, balancing. So let's just take like this. That should be somewhere here and if we have lot of this balance parenthesis and i don't know the count so what i have to do is basically i have to check for the uh, basically i have to check for the uh, this this bracket has yes this bracket has yes this bracket has yes this bracket has here okay this bracket has here this bracket has here so basically i have to check each bracket individually whether they are working correct or not so if this was not present then this is wrong so this is unbalanced or what may happen if this is not present then it is an error so like this i have to check for the each balances i have to store for the each balance and check individual so here while i was checking i got a closing bracket and i got uh, that opening bracket at the top of the stack and i can say that bracket is completed now i have to check for the other bracket so now i got closing and i saw here yes correct so here I have no more elements left and in this stack there are no more elements. So string is empty. Also the stack is also empty. So this is the case for the balanced. So here I can say whenever this condition occurs then balance. So let's see what are the other cases which make it unbalanced. So yeah. Let me just remove. Uh, let's just keep this aside so that. We will, we will have a reference for this yeah so we will keep this aside and let's remove other things yeah so this was the basic condition let's say our this is unbalanced why may happen so there was an opening but we didn't found and closing so what may happen here uh, this stack would be increased here would be the last element String is empty, but we still have something value in the uh, stack. So this is the same thing which is covered here. So we saw similarly this thing. So the thing which we saw here. So this is the same thing which we are discussing. So if stack is not empty and there is some value in the string, or there is no value in the string, then it is unbalanced. So this two, both of this must be true. So stack should be empty and string should be also be empty. Then only it is balanced. So here we are getting a false that stack is not empty, but string is uh, finished. So this is an unbalanced case. Else what may happen is stack is empty. Why? Because everything is removed. But still uh, the string is not empty. There is some closing bracket. So this may be an issue. Yeah. So like this or else uh, another balanced thing would be let's just see this was the simple case what if uh, there was another this thing like this so c will be this parenthesis will be added at the first then these two will be added and these two got completely cleared means it is balanced so we can just ignore this so we can just ignore this for now we can ignore this much part because this is complete so this is balanced so it won't affect us a lot then i have to check between these uh, values so what i will do is i will take next value as this i will add it i will found a closing yes i found again a closing yes so now i can say stack is empty string is empty then it is balanced so like this the main condition is we have to iterate through the whole string we have to check so let's just try to write a pseudo code so i have something like this Uh, this may not happen yeah so what should we first do iterate through whole string 
heater through string logistic s then we may get a opening or we may get a closing so depending on these two cases we have to do something if it is opening push to stack so we have to push it to the stack if it is closing check the topmost element check top of stack if it is of same type if it is of uh, same type then pop it if not so what may be a condition that if this is the case and yeah this may happen so here this is insert uh, let's just take the simple most case why to complicate it a bit so this is the case and what has happened is uh, we are not getting let me just so something like this we have got so this is unbalanced because this doesn't have closing this doesn't have opening so what we have to check these two are inserted in the stack yeah uh, we followed this open thing whenever open bracket we get you have to insert in the stack so then i got a closing i check for the top i got an opening but it is not of the same type then it is unbalanced so basically if it is not same we have to put it as unbalanced and if it is same then it is uh, then we have to continue forward so this is the case and if it is same we have to pop if it is not same then we can directly print that it is unbalanced so this will be the basic pseudo code let's just try to implement this so basically in the last lecture uh, in the last session we created a stack so we'll use that same value i'll quickly go through this let me just reduce so that yeah so this you should know this is the basic template hash include io stream using namespace everything yeah so i have created a stack and i have kept everything public so basically i have created a size which is constant and static because the size not uh, size should not change according to the uh, means side uh, size should be con constant it shouldn't change because we are using it in the array so array can't be of different different types so then we created a top index top pointer which indicates the top of the element so yeah uh, here we use a character so instead of character let's just remove all the character and put it in because we will be working with sorry uh, we are again working with the character itself so no matters then void push we have to push what we do is we first of all check if size is uh, minus one so sorry if top is equal to size minus one means it is full stack is full so we basically print stack overflow and we return if this is not the case we insert it using this thing we increase the top uh, at that index we append the value similarly in pop what do we do we check whether the stack is empty or not so how do we check top is not initialized I meant it is outside the bounds of the array index so it is minus one then we say that it is uh, underflow means we can't remove it is empty and then we return minus one else what we do is we first of all retrieve the value from the top and then reduce the top index then we display uh, we display the whole stack and let's just create a new function so we would require a new function called as peak so basically this is present in the stl but still we create a uh, function called as peak so what does this peak does is it just returns the topmost value it doesn't delete it doesn't delete it just returns the value so how we can do this we have to basically return the value at present at the top because top is currently pointing at the value which is filled so uh, let me just see size minus one so if it is less than this yes so currently top is pointing at the value which uh, which is filled in the stack so we can return uh, array of top so this should work fine this peak basically gives us returns us the topmost value so let's just create our main function int main and what we have to do is let's just first create a stack stack s or uh, yeah uh, yeah 
let's just create a stack s then we would need a string uh, let's just take string uh, brackets or instead of let's just take string as s and stack as bracket yeah then we have to take input so c in we would take from the user so yeah let's just first see out that interesting so enter uh, enter the parenthesis to check whether it is balanced or not or uh, enter parenthesis to check balancing yeah so he will put something uh, he will this will print this uh, thing to the console and we will enter some string so after that let's just for now uh, we will just print this so here's okay like the top okay we have put here void means we will not return anything but still we are returning some value so we have to change this to return type so now if we work yeah this finish successfully but yeah we have to run we have to not just check so we have to run now it asks for balance the uh, parenthesis so we just add this thing and we can see the same thing is getting printed so yeah uh, this is basically how this thing work and now what we have to do is we have to iterate through this thing so for i in sorry i got into python mode so for i uh, in i equal to zero i is less than s dot size yeah then i plus plus and what we have to do is uh if let's just check if uh the s of i so if s of i means the current character is equal equal to this thing uh, opening parenthesis or s of i equal equal to this opening curly bracket or s of i is equal equal to this square bracket then what we have to do is we have to push this so s sorry brackets dot push we will push s of i so basically we will push that then what we have to do is if this is the case then this should work fine and then we will continue but this is not that compulsory because we will uh, anyhow provide an else condition so else what we have to do is now if this is not opening then we know it is closing okay so we know it should be closing itself or we can also check that so else if this thing if instead of circular this or uh, curly or square so else if this is the thing then what we have to do is we have to first of all check uh, we have to first of all check the value from the stack and the current s of i so yeah let's just take some uh, take the value so last bracket last bracket equal to the so last bracket is equal to s sorry brackets dot peak so we'll get the topmost value then after getting this value what we have to do is if if uh, we have to individually check whether it is closing parenthesis closing circular bracket or closing square bracket so if s of i equal equal to what we can say is uh, if it is equal equal to closing bracket and last bracket is equal equal to opening this thing so opening parenthesis then what we have to do is we have to just pop so brackets 
dot pop okay similarly let's just put this multiple conditions and here if we can also use else if both should work fine okay so here instead of this thing what i will put curly and here also opening curly here closing square here opening square so if these are the cases then this would happen and at last after for loop completes what we have to check is uh, or here at some point what may happen uh, stack may also become empty so we have to also check that so do we have a method no so we don't have a method so what we have to do is we have to check so void or we will return a bool so bool is empty so it will check whether it is empty or not so how would it check is basically if top is equal equal to minus one it is empty so return zero basically false else else what you can say is return one or we can directly yeah let it be for now it will be okay so here we can make more modifications here also for the bracket checking we can make more modifications we can keep a list we can check and do other things but for now let's just keep this simple so yeah at first we have to check whether this stack is empty or not means if uh, somehow this may happen so, so let's assume there may be a case where directly at first we get an oh, closing bracket and then there is an this thing so first of all we will get uh, this thing uh, closing bracket we will check uh, whether the stack is uh, we will check for the peak but peak will not work why because currently top is pointing at the negative index means it is not uh, stack is not initialized it doesn't have any value stack is empty but still we are trying to access so there would be a segmentation fault or uh, address not found something like that so we have to first of all check whether the stack is empty or not so we can do that if brackets brackets dot is empty so is empty so what does it returns so if top is equal to minus one then we have to return one because we are asking is empty if it is empty then we have to return true yes it is empty and if it is not then we have to return false so if it is minus one then we have to return true yes it is empty so if bracket is empty then what we have to do is basically we are looping through this for loop means there is some value still present in the string but the stack is empty so what we have to do is let's just keep a flag let's just uh, yeah keep a flag or we can directly break out so break but we would not know why we did we complete it successfully or did we break out so what we do is is balanced we will keep a flag is balanced and we will set that equal to false basically f should be small yeah and here we will initialize it so bool is balanced equal to true at first we will assume that it is true but if this is the case then we will put it as false and similarly after for loop what we have to do is we have to check now string is empty but we have to also check whether the stack is empty or not so if s sorry brackets so here also brackets yeah brackets dot is empty so if it is empty sorry yeah so if this is empty after the string is also empty we can uh, just print so see out what we will see out is stack is balanced sorry parenthesis is balanced parenthesis is balanced else what we have to do is else we can print uh, if uh, brackets is okay so we have to basically instead of doing this what we can set is is uh, we can set that flag so 
so yeah uh, we have to basically set that flag so is balanced equal to true so here you will see that we have already set this to true so what is the case that it may become false so if bracket is not empty after completion uh, let's just put not so after completion of the whole string still some values is present in the stack means opening brackets are present but closing is not present then what we have to do is we have to make is balanced equal to false so if this is not the case then at last what we can do is we can see out so we can use if is balanced so is balanced yeah so if it is balanced we can see out Uh, let's just print the string itself so string then a space then again a string okay we can directly use is balanced yeah and then end line similarly else what we have to do is else we can do something similar let's just copy this and we can put is not balanced so let's just execute this and there is some issue somewhere like here semicolon 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 let's just execute till some issue okay so here we are basically checking this s of i is a string sorry this s of i is a character and i am checking it with the string so i have to basically remove this uh, double quotes and modified this into single quote so yeah now this should work fine here it should be double quotes because it is a string but above it wasn't a string opening 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 Let's just execute this. Let's just execute this till last bracket. Okay, last bracket. We have to mention the data type. So, care last bracket and execute. Where is the last? Sorry, not is balanced. We have to do it as uh, last bracket. So, here is the last bracket. Care last bracket. And this should now work fine. Yeah, it is asking so i will put simplest is not balanced why is it not balanced there is some issue maybe so let's just display the stack before this so the outer brackets dot display So stack is empty stack contains nothing so basically stack is empty and stack contains nothing still why we are printing not balanced so if not means brackets dot is empty is not sorry brackets means the stack is empty so if it is empty then it is fine because uh, string is also empty and this is also empty but if it is not then the uh, string is not balanced means it is not balanced so if is balanced we are printing balanced and let's just check here so let's just check it uh, here we will just see out the s of i Yeah, simple. Okay, this is happening. I plus plus. So what is happening basically? Only this is printed. Why? So the size is two, and I should be less than. There are some spaces. So maybe as dot size let's just print this
so we have to debug this a bit uh, as dot size and and l so size is 2 so i is starting from uh, i is basically starting from 0 so it should go to 1 also why is not okay if brackets dot is empty oh so at first what happens is at first whenever we try the brackets would be empty why because at starting of this thing the brackets are empty so what we have to do is uh, basically if bracket is empty and I have to check and i is uh, or what we can do is when we have to check whether the bracket is empty or not so if it is a closing bracket yeah so basically we have to check this only if it is a closing bracket why because that may cause an issue because we are trying to peak this value but there uh, the peak may not work because if stack may be empty so this should work fine let's just check yeah it is balanced again let's just check uh, opening this thing this thing yeah it is balanced again let's just increase the complexity this 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 in this 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 so this is balanced yeah so it is now giving correct so this was the basic uh, balancing function how we can check whether the parentheses are balanced or not using stack so yeah this was all for this lecture we can we will meet with a new question in our next session